Here in part two of creating our guitar tracking template, we're going to talk about how to print EQ or compression to our track. I've created a new aux track, and I'm going to rename that Bogner EQ, since it's dedicated to the Bogner cabinet, and it's going to have some type of EQ or compression on it. Then I'm assigning the input boss to that aux, and it's going to be the Bogner input, since that's the output of our microphone auxes. Now I'm taking the output of our EQ aux channel and assigning that to a bus and I'm assigning the input of our audio channel to the same bus and I'm going to rename them. Bogner EQ. So our signal flow is microphones, two different ones on the same cab going to two aux channels, Bogner D112, Bogner 57. Output of those feeding the aux for Bogner EQ, and the output of that aux is feeding the input of our audio track. So I put those in solo safe so we don't lose them before recording and so on. And now we're going to have some fun and we're going to add some inserts. So in my studio I have an analog insert, an API 2500 EQ, which sounds great, touching the guitars a little. And the old standby, the pull tech, in my case, a manual pull tech. You can do these with plugins, it doesn't have to be in it will work exactly the same. So, I'm also going to copy these and reassign them to the appropriate ins and outs. And I'm also going to add a distressor to these channels and copy it over to every one of my EQ boxes and make them inactive. Now, I can record to any one of my cabs and apply any of these EQs and compression just by turning them on.